History Month, and in honor of that, we're taking you to a place that teaches people about African American history in West Michigan. From Idlewild, the former slaves who traveled to our state for freedom and opportunity, yeah, the one place really is you're about to see covers it all. And today we are taking you inside the center of African American art and history in Holland. We are taking a look at African American history right here in West Michigan and helping us do that is Ruth Coleman, the founder and executive director of the Center of African American Art and History. And Ruth, I know this has been a dream of yours for a long time. Tell us about the center. Well, you know, there's been this long history that there's no blacks in Holland. Well, you know, I've always known that there's blacks in Holland. I just didn't know to the extent until I started doing some research. And as I started to research some of the African Americans, I was really amazed to find that we were here as early as pre-Civil War. Wow, that yeah. is amazing. Mm -hmm. Right now, mm -hmm. we are in a room that depicts the rich culture of African Americans and through time. Yes, yes. And you know, it is such an honor to be able to showcase some of the African American uh, journey that we've experienced over the years uh, on the boat from Africa, you know, and porting in some of the ports and, you know, just some of the uh, uh, work that African Americans have done. And so in this room, you'll see some of the richness of the African American culture and get a chance to experience it. Mm -hmm. We also have the Dr. King room where you can experience Dr. King. We wanted to do an image of what it felt like to be in a room with Dr. King, maybe listening and seeing what his study was like. And so we, we did a rendition of his, he would have a desk, mm -hmm. he would have a pipe, he would have a Bible. And so we just did a rendition of what we thought that his study would look like. Oh, that is so cool. And you mm. also have created a boat here inside the center. Yes. It's amazing. Yes. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's been an awesome experience for us too, building it. But we wanted people to feel the experience of African Americans. We want people to feel, touch, sense, smell the journey. And so we have waves on the boat and we have, and it feels like you're on an actual boat as you're Slave walking boats. through. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's really, really exciting, you know, to depict the African American journey of what yeah. they experienced. And how so. scary that would be going to a new world, how yes. family was left behind. Yes, yes, yes. But even more so, how they were able to build and rebuild their lives and do so many great things right here on American soil. And Ruth, what would people experience in this room? They're going to experience actual people, such as Isaac Bailey who was born uh, into slavery on a plantation in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, after he ran away, he found that there were Quakers who were actually helping African Americans escape. And he was given a train ticket to Detroit. Uh, it cost him $100. And so he ended up in Detroit. And from Detroit, he ended up traveling to Grand Haven, where he met his wife, Mary. And they married and ended up in Grand Rapids. And that's where he joined. Uh, the Civil War and became a soldier in the Army. Yes. You also have an area in the center where you hope that people will gather for discussion. Yes, yes. We want people to talk about it, discuss, ask questions. And so we have an area where people can sit and they can talk and they can learn and they can understand more of the African American culture. We also have movies, book clubs that will be featuring books and we'll have um, a time where people can, can really just gather around and ask questions. Maybe once they've made a tour, they're not ready to leave, they want to learn more. Well, that's an area where they can go and they can find answers and they can do a little bit of, of research and ask questions. Well, you've done an amazing job here. Thank you for the tour today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. A place rich with African American history right here in Holland. So so cool. You have to see that. You learn so much. Well, and what I love is she had this vision and dream. I remember she was on 8 West yep. almost a year ago kind of talking about the fundraising part of it. I, I love her passion, her spirit, and you know that this is going to be one of those uh, those museums that won't just be static. It'll be evolving. It'll be every mm -hmm. year growing as the displays and the exhibits and the exhibitions really just take on a life of their own. It is a work in progress because it is a lot of work and expense to start 
start something like this. And, and you said it, it was a dream of Ruth's and she is making it happen with people who care about the same things that she cares about mm -hmm. and people who are going to experience it. Speaking of that, admission to the Center of African American Art and History is $5 for adults. 250 for children 12 and under and groups of 10 or more can get in for three dollars plus the center is looking for docents right now so if you're interested be sure to get in touch with them and tomorrow evening the center is hosting a really cool event filmmaker coy davis will be there to show his documentary what happened to idlewild it's at seven o'clock they'll show the film then davis will do a q a session tickets for that event are just eight dollars mm -hmm. they're doing cool stuff like that all the mm -hmm. time the center is located at 21 west 16th Street in Holland. That is really great. And I love the idea that uh, they are giving a little bit of a price break for large groups. I could really envision a situation where school groups kind of make this one of their field trips so that they can have the opportunity to really let the kids experience this rich tradition. Yeah, right here in West Michigan, yeah. it's nice. We hear a lot about the history, you know, of African Americans and, and the wider picture, but to hear about the people that came here and settled in Grand Haven mm -hmm. are the people that came to Grand Rapids and you know where that was and how different people it's really fascinating mm -hmm. so a good opportunity to learn a little bit more about absolutely that.